Good morning, friends. Happy Monday, the 12th of December. It's Autumn's birthday. I need to text her. Happy birthday, AJ, if you're watching this. Um, I'm at home. Normally, I'd be in an office on Monday, but it snowed. It's crazy snowy outside. Ooh, it's even so much brighter in my house because of the glare from the snow. It's so bright. I actually really like it. I went to the station and my train's cancelled. So I've come back home to work from home. I'm wrapping up with one of my gigs because it's time for baby girl to move on. Ooh. So I am just getting some stuff finished up today, possibly Thursday. I'm not sure. We'll see. I need to have a call with the director. I'm about to make something that I have been loving. I had it for the first time last week. I had heard good things and um, it delivered. So I'm going to recreate the Joe and the Juice spicy tuna sandwich for my, it's 10 a.m. So I guess breakfast. I used to love tuna sandwiches as a kid and then I completely overdid it and probably haven't had one since high school. I also need to take care of these nails. I used a different top coat and I hate it. Yeah, I'm going to do that while I work today. Um, probably do my brows as well. Probably also wipe my teeth at some point because I think, you know, I've got a bit of scarring happening over here because I had a little breakout from my antibiotics, which I'm still taking. My face has come down, but I can still feel the lump inside. Like, the swelling is in the jaw, not like an abscess. So I'm going to get my coffee and then I'll tell you about my journey home which was, it was too much, but we had a great time in Malaga and we came home to snow, which is exciting. <laughs> That song's been in my head for five days. Pardon these crazy edges. I'm eating the sandwich. Came out really good, not spicy enough. Could be like 10 times more spicy than this. This is pretty mild. Mm. This is a big sandwich. I didn't even eat anything yesterday. I had brunch around 12, Spanish time. So around 11 our time and I didn't eat anything else all day apart from a handful of honey cashews at about 8.30 p.m. on the plane. Oops. While I work, I'm watching Peyton, my girl Peyton. Love her. She's doing Vlogmas. She's uploading daily though, which is like so commendable. Um, and in real time, so no lags. Like, if she vlogs today, it's going up today. Respect. Um, happy to be home, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to crack on with this. I've got to kind of put a hand over together, so. Yeah. 
Let's spot on my chin. So what else? There was something else. But I can't remember. If it comes back to me, I'll loop back to you guys. Okay friends, here's the hair. I just found some As I Am Classic Moisture Milk for it because the girls always say you don't want your hair to look stringy. And truth be told, you don't want your hair to look stringy. But I would rather my hair be hydrated and shiny than dull and like pin straight. So I put a bit of moisture milk in there. Um, I didn't put the so much moisture in there because that's water-based and it tends to make my hair revert. So I'll put that in in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, I just put some of this in to add a bit of shine and I still have movement. The hair is herring. I wanted to show you some bits that I just got in over the last couple of weeks. In the last vlog, you'd have seen that I went to Manon and Getz pop-up on Regent Street and they have the really cool upstairs like area. It's like an apartment and it's all with like Manon and Getz colours. So I used to work for Malin, as you know, and I'm really familiar with their products and I got this dope candle set. And they do gift sets every year and every year they're inspired by like a different artist or different, um, Something that really resonates with the brand. Well, last year they did the gift packaging that had like the New York subway map designed by, I forget the name of the person, Vignelli, Massimo Vignelli, I think that was his name. Andrew Getz used to work for Vitra, the design firm. And so there's so much design element in the brand and everything that they do. It's one thing that I really, really love about the brand and one thing that really drew me to the brand. So in the gift set, you get a full size cannabis candle and the votive size. The scent is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life. It's green and woody, but when it burns, it's so warm and so charming and a little bit sexy. People are always caught off by the fact that the name is cannabis and I'm like, grow up. Um, cannabis is a thing that exists. And secondly, they assume that it smells like hemp or weed. It does not smell like that whatsoever. It is just a grassy, woody scent, which is a nod, a gesture to what we know cannabis to be. If you're in a rush to get gifts for anyone, I would definitely suggest something like this. It's so easy. And the idea about the brand is that it fits into like every apartment, every household. And so if it's your favorite scent, you've got a full size and a votive size. One thing I love about um, the full size as well is that it makes a good tumbler. So you'll often see me drinking out of um, Malin and Getz candle glasses. You can reuse them for everything. I keep my Q-tips in a votive size one. I don't know the story behind the packaging this season. I can probably find out, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this as a really lovely gift for someone if you are in a pinch or um, even if you're not in a pinch if you just know that you have a friend that loves candles loves fragrances and likes grassy woody notes this is going to be perfect for that also in the gift bag came the grapefruit face cleanser this is like their staple product it's the first product that they launch with and the vitamin e face moisturizer they go together i really like the moisturizer John uses both of them, so I'm gonna give both of them to him because he's honestly goes through it like no man's business. Like one thing I love about Malin 
products is that the cleansing products the formulation is really thick so it's not stripping or drying and it gets a really nice like luxurious lather say that fast five times the vitamin e face moisturizer is a really nice um, texture it's quite rich but it's not heavy i can use heavy moisturizers and to be honest that's my preference but this one you get that kind of like moisturizer without feeling like you've got um, a layer of paint on your face and john really likes this one as someone with oily skin um so yeah this combo if you've got acne skin or like things like rosacea where you have like a bacterial thing on the skin these are going to be great because they're not stripping the skin so you're going to get like a balance of both clarification and hydration next is the Diziac body scrub and body lotion the body scrub is really new it just launched recently i tried the body conditioner back in the summer at carnival this is a local business to me i'm so happy to support them Diziac is great i love 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 the hair conditioner i use that a lot and the body conditioner is the same scent which is really nice it's earthy it's a bit herbaceous I believe they also just launched incense so if you like the scent of like these products definitely um, get on their website and order some incense and this is the new body scrub which just launched as well so i'm really excited to try this because i love a body scrub and i've got a few in my arsenal john opened the box for me and he was like oh body scrub so you know good for everyone and the pair is a probably a great gift also you're supporting a black owned business so that's another really cool thing um if you are looking to purchase gifts this season you can um, support loretta by doing that next is the good jeans glycolic acid treatment from sunday riley they reached out to me a little while ago to see if i'd be open to receiving this has glycolic acid and prickly pear i'm really excited to try this because i love glycolic acid my skin loves glycolic i can't live without glycolic acid you guys know i use the pixie toner i've been using it for years i can't be without it um, and when I am without it, I feel the difference in my skin. This is more of a treatment. This is something that I would use probably like once or twice a week as a boost to my glycolic because I don't want to over exfoliate. Equally, my skin is quite hardy, so I know it's going to love this. I'm really, really excited to try Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. And then I got a huge package in from the new co. So I got invited to a yoga event that I couldn't make and the girls at the PR company very kindly sent me some products to try. One thing that I've been dying to try from this brand is their prebiotic, probiotic dietary supplement. So I've just done two rounds of antibiotics and I'm definitely looking to kind of recalibrate everything. I did notice like I was starting to have breakups in my skin um, that I can't attribute to anything other than my cycle. To be honest, it wasn't even like the type of breakups that I usually get in my cycle. I'm aware that that changes all the time. I feel like I need to recalibrate my gut a little bit. So Pre and probiotics, I'm really, really excited to try this. I also got the sugar stress. It curbs stress-induced sugar cravings. And this targeted formula uses adaptogenic rhodiola, 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 to address stress alongside bioavailable chromium and L-glutamate to reduce sweet cravings. So basically it curbs the sweet tooth. I have such a sweet tooth. Maybe I'll try this after Christmas because my mum's baking. She texted me today to say she's making um, sweet potato pudding. If you don't know what that is, it's not sweet potato pie. Big up all my West Indians who know about sweet potato pudding. After Christmas, I'm for sure going to need to like have a bit of a sugar detox. So this is going to come in really handy. A skin filter. So this is a dietary supplement for skin. And basically it has vitamin A and vitamin C in it. Retinol, if you didn't know, is a form of vitamin A. And as we know, what happens on the inside comes out on the outside. So we'll experience it in our skin. And this is kind of designed to kind of help with um, cell turnover and like brightening and resurfacing from the inside. And lastly, I got the functional fragrance. This smells really good. It smells like something between um, Santa 33 from Labo and leather from Malin and Getz. So it's got that sandalwood, cedarwood, like rich, sweet, creamy note. But it's, it's a little more spicy, which is nice. It says use daily or as required to calm and recenter. I will link below and list the notes in this one if you're curious to try it. And of course, as always, I will feed back. So now I've had a really long day. I left the house about 8.30 to make it to my hair appointment. 
And then I went to yoga. I'm really stiff and sore from yoga already. So I'm going to chill on the couch and do nothing for the rest of the day. John's going to make the dinner. We're having veggie sausages and potatoes and broccoli, which is my one of my favourite dinners, actually. I'm going to see if he'll make mash. I just feel like buttery mash. Mm. All I've eaten today is a croissant, so I definitely need to get some scram down me. And I'll check in with you guys probably tomorrow. Monday the 19th of December and I've just left the breakfast for the which was tough and now I'm headed to town because Johnny and I always do a Christmas lunch date every year so this year we're headed to Rovi which is one of Ottolenghi's restaurants if you're not familiar um should be nice I'm gonna look for coats because my cream coat is now a spring weight coat. <laughs> um, as you know, I took it to get dry cleaned and the air is gone from the puff. It's no longer that puffy. I found somewhere in Scotland that does down repairs. But um, let's see. In the meantime, I need a coat. So I'm going to go try some on before our lunch. just need to find out if my coat can be fixed. So, fingers crossed. En route to Rosie now. And of course, I'll show you all the delicious food. Good evening, friends. Happy Monday. No, it's not Monday, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, the 21st of December. Creeping ever closer to Christmas. I am on my way to the basketball. And as you can see, I have a new coat. We opted for the cross coat. Um, about the Christmas one for me. Which perfect it's comfortable it's wonderful and warm and i'm very happy um i'm on my way now to see london lions versus paris in a euro cup basketball game i really like basketball nfl mlb american sports but i don't know i don't know many people here that do so i meet my friend mo and we're gonna go see 